Alright, welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Snipping out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Broncos playbook. This playbook here was one of my more requested playbooks. I just never really got around to doing it. I'm um, really trying to touch on all of them. I mean, I really, you know, it's a long season. I got a lot of time. Hopefully the people that were asking stuck around because uh, I, I can't say I've noticed as many requests lately as I had in the past as far as Broncos. Uh, but it was on my mind for something I had to do. So for the people that did request it, I'm going to do you a treat. I'm going to give you a two for one special today. Uh, where basically I'm going to do the single back bunch and the pistol bunch because honestly they look exactly the same the only real difference between the two and the only way your opponent's gonna be able to really tell is you can tell that the, the i mean the receiver looks out a little bit further or, uh, number 88 there in the in the single back bunch he looks a little bit closer to the line in the regular bunch um and then even in the pistol drawing it looks like uh the running back's a little bit closer but like i said either way it looks like the exact same bunch your opponent's not gonna be able to know so you can really run these two schemes together and uh, really get the benefit of it uh i'm gonna go ahead i'm going to start it with the pistol bunch though because my favorite play is probably in the pistol bunch it's the pa boot slide in the middle there um, if you guys want to see part two you want to see more broncos uh do me a favor hit the like button and i'll do that uh this is definitely going to be enough for at least a two-part series if not a three other than that's all on my patreon now link in the description if you guys want to see if you don't want to wait uh if you're broncos fans you, you use the bronco playbook uh, but for now let's go ahead and let's pick the pa boot slide now I love this play. There's no real adjustments needed. It's just such a well-designed play. You can see anytime you have multiple levels over the middle, it really makes it hard for any user um, to accurately pick which one's going to be the one to stop. If you really wanted to make an adjustment, you could do this. Uh, the running back will motion out slightly. I guess not. <laughs> he, he, I thought he motioned to the other side, but it's all good. But I guess just putting him in a, in a uh, what do they call that? The... Uh, Forget already. It's the uh, wheel route. That's right. Uh, there's the wheel route and then there's the swing route. This is the wheel route. Uh, and he'll kind of get open underneath because everything's pulling back. So you might see him get open for like a nice little check down on the side there. Um, as you can see, there's just not a lot of coverage left. The, the, the computer's going to react to all your pulling zones. These pulling receivers. But that's not necessary. And I actually like... Um, doing it with the uh, the running back in a play action because I think it's actually beneficial. Uh, but you can see here, your middle linebacker immediately is going to recognize the middle route there. And what they're typically going to do is they're going to pass off Sanders to the safety. Even if it's a user, uh, they might eventually pass off uh, and start trying to cover Sanders, but that'll really just change your read to Fowler versus Green. Uh, but the way that this play works, you're really going to have uh, somebody open regardless. Uh, if, you, if you notice the cover three, which just doesn't look like a cover three, um, I would say that your best route is definitely going to be the circle route and see once again here I mean, this is you know, the cover through safety is really far back in his, in his uh, In his stance and it's just really pitch and catch. I mean, this is a good mobile play, too I don't know who the quarterback is that I have but you're out on the perimeter So if you want to you can take off. I don't think Trevor I think it's Trevor Simeon. I don't think he's much of a runner But you have that option. This is just like I said a really good play uh, for multiple levels here You see uh, foul is just wide open streaking across the middle just a really good play, and it's really designed to take to get wide. I mean, it's a boot play. Uh, there, the tight end kind of slowed up a little bit, uh, but I do like doing the Anderson um, adjustment every once in a while because you can see he gets open underneath everything. It's it's just a check down though. It's something if you're feeling pressure, if you're feeling a lot of heat, because sometimes the play action can get you in trouble. But you can always just cancel that by hitting R2, um, and then you have your outside route. Your comebacks route is still a good route too. So, a really simple play. Also, a really good goal line play. Not necessarily goal line. I shouldn't say goal line. Uh, I should, I'll, I'll say more like a uh, red zone play. So, I would say anywhere. This is a good play anywhere from inside the 10 to the 5. Um, and because of that, you have um, just, you know, you still have the same reads. I mean, there's just such good separation. This is what makes this play good. Now, if you're running this in a goal line play, I would say putting Thomas on like a fade or an out route would really be the way to go. Because you really want him to clear. Uh, as much as possible because that R1 route is going to need that space. You can see how the cornerback's out of position there for that. So the comeback doesn't really move him enough. Like I said, the fade's pretty good too. Um, as you can see here, we got that spacing once again. But you got to pull that cornerback out if you're going to use it in the goal line uh, scenario. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next play. Now I would say my second favorite play, I mean that last play was in the pistol bunch, but my second favorite play is really out of the gun bunch. Uh, I'm sorry, the single back bunch. Uh, but a lot of people 
uh, might know this play from me already. I noticed this play is really popular online. Uh, whether somebody stole it from me or whether everybody got it from watching me use it, I'm not really sure. But the PA end around has been my favorite play uh, for this Madden and last Madden. So I'll go ahead and I'll show that for the people that don't know. Yeah, this here was like one of my favorite plays last year. So it was so good that I think EA, I, I don't know how EA got their hands. Maybe they saw one of my videos, but they actually tried to fix it. Uh, where basically now, if you hit cancel the play action or you hit the triangle route too quick to throw to the running back, it takes away your receiving icons and totally damages the play. Didn't do that last year, uh, but I guess that's that was their answer um, to this play, which I essentially I guess it was a glitch because if you threw it quick enough, the defensive backs wouldn't have time to react to the running back. So now you can't do that, but it's still a really good play if you run it as is. Just let the quarterback go through his entire motion, um, and now you can see uh, you have uh, some pretty good receiving options. Running with the quarterback is the third or fourth option. I did not take off there by mistake. That's one of your reads. Uh, we're basically here, if you know you get a scenario like this where a guy's right on your ass, you take off with the QB. That's what makes it so good. Uh, but what I'm really looking for is the running back. Um, he's usually out in the flats, but if he pulls coverage like that, it just creates a running lane for your quarterback. If you have a really good mobile quarterback, it's going to be even better. So I'm going to go ahead and run. I'm going to try to hit these, these targets. Here we go. No flat coverage. See, I hit the triangle route too quick. You see how EA broke that? Thanks, EA. Although the running back was open. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll run this as is. Here you see, once again, they're covering the running back. They're covering all my receivers. I take off with the quarterback. I probably should have safe slid there. It's not the design, though. The, the, there's a lot of really good options other than that. And you see there, I have to wait for that receiving icon to come up or else it disappears entirely. But yeah, it's really between him and the X route. The X route's going to be really good, too. Um, as you can see here, um, just kind of pass leading him outside is the best way to go. And if you're taking off with the computer with the quarterback like that, your user a lot of times will follow, and that will leave this square route open, uh, right coming across the middle right there, uh, which is one of the more deadly options I find. But yeah, your reads are real simple. Your first option is stretch it out here, go running back, uh, wide receiver, you know, whichever one of them is open, one of them will be open pretty much every time. And if you find like that option isn't there on the outside, um, if it's covered adequately, you got a choice to either take off or throw it to your square route. Uh, but either way, it's a good play. There's a lot of good uh, accompanying plays like the actual end around, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's kind of a risky run. The slash fake end around, which is uh, probably the better alternative to keep your opponent honest if you run the PA end around. That slash, a lot of times you'll just be able to get, you know, four or five yards a carry if you run that appropriately. I'm not going to show it because there's no adjustment. But if you want to keep your opponent honest, those are the best ways to do it. Uh, the next play that I'd really like to show is the PA boot slide. Once again, we're in the single back bunch. Um, the PA boot slide is a very good pass, very similar to the uh, pistols uh, version, uh, but it just opens up a little bit differently, and you have a little bit, uh, you have a little bit more different options. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that if I can find it again. So this play here, I mean, I find that um, Sanders. Uh, is a really good cover three, cover two, and a man beater, which is a route that's not in the other play. Uh, but it's very similar. Your opponent might might as well think that way um, as I'm passing up to uh, Fowler there. But uh, the, the, the circle route just kind of sneaks in there at the end. Um, as you can see, as I can get that turn, which I actually had to throw it early because of the uh, pressure. But uh, if you're, you're using middle linebacker covers the, R, the X route, they will never cover uh, Sanders route. That was an all-out blitz. Throwing off my back foot, still working out. Yeah, I mean, even if they cover this adequately, um, they're never going to cover the circle route. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll wait for that to develop again. Three guys, man. There's three guys there. They, it just comes through all of them. It's a really good route. It's one of the better one of the better routes um, in this formation is what Sanders is running. As it really just ca tends to get open against everything. And here we go. We got, I don't know if that's a cover two man, but once again, he's just going to beat it. You know what I mean? He just, he's just all, it's all about him. But uh, the user will probably be covering X. Um, and then the R1 route is a really good check down. Um, as he gets lit up. Holy crap. Yeah, he's 51 out here just lighting people up. Um, the X, the square route too, um, is a pretty good uh, route against cover threes and man. And you can cancel the play action too. You get the effect if you just hit R2. Here, I don't know what that was. I'll pass lead that up. I don't know if that was a cover two invert or what, but he could have been gone. You got lucky, bro. Um, so, like I said, really good play. I'm going to cancel this play action. I'm going to get a real easy play to uh, to the circle route, and then I'll go ahead and move on. I was hoping that was a touch, but it's whatever. 
So that's going to be it for part one. If you guys want to see part two or more Broncos, let me know by hitting the like button or let me know in the comment section. Uh, other than that, uh, whatever playbook you guys want to see, I've, I haven't gotten as many requests uh, for actual playbooks as I was in the past. I think the Chargers was the last one I got. So if you guys want to see anything specific, do me a favor, let me know, and uh, I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hello.